The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Right now, we're in the middle of a climate and biodiversity crisis. So how we work together to take the global goals and turn them into scalable solutions, often driven by procurement, has never been more important. We need to work together as academia, industry and government to take this change and drive it at scale. This project examined the approaches to improve supply chain sustainability and resilience in the built environment and provided the pra practical recommendations for clients and suppliers. The project developed a framework for improving client organizations' capabilities in addressing supply chain sustainability and resilience, with a focus on six key interconnected organizational and management processes. A practical maturity assessment and benchmarking tool was developed to operationalize the maturity assessment and benchmarking process. We conducted case studies to demonstrate the application of the maturity assessment and benchmarking tool. The project outcomes will enhance the efficiency, reliability and sustainability of supply chains and help Australian building and infrastructure clients in public and private sectors to achieve their sustainability goals. The value of Project 2.86 was we were able to do a real life um, organisational level case study with the research team that was able to examine the different elements of sustainable procurement that was with, embedded within main roads. So we were able to, um, to take what we had actually done in practice and, and see how that aligned with the framework of, that was developed by the research team and the feedback that we were able to get from the project has meant that we can identify any gaps in, in how we can improve our practice. And that's ultimately important for sustainability because we're always looking to improve what we do as an organisation so then we can do the right thing by the community as well as the broader environment and, and achieve different outcomes when it, um, when it comes to our procurement practices and our our major project infrastructure investments. The benefit of the sustainable and resilient supply chain project from a procurement perspective is Main Roads as a state government agency has a number of obligations other than delivering government's objectives. We have a corporate obligation to sustain industry and build industry. Um, what this project did from my perspective is, is map out a process to actually on how to actually do that which is something as the head of procurement in main roads I've never had the opportunity to do one of the one of the other outcomes was a a, a rating tool which was developed by Yingbing which it was a self-assessment tool on how well um, agencies or organizations do sustainable procurement and that was a real eye-opener for me because it was clear to us that Main Roads as an agency was very reactive and was not proactive in terms of um, taking steps to ensure a sustainable supply chain. So I got some great benefits out of that process. The other benefit for me was it was great to be part of the, um, the project team because there were participants from different sectors there also were participants from the private sector and as an agency that contracts it's not often that we get the opportunity to get private sector perspective on what their view of mm. supply chain or supply chain resilience is. So it was an excellent opportunity to be involved in that team and also to have the you know, academic expertise that sat behind the project as well. The Office of Circular Economy is responsible for delivering the waste management and resource recovery strategy and through that strategy um, identifies product stewardship schemes, how we design the design and use materials and how we recover those. So 
understanding not only the materials but the supply chains has identified some solutions that otherwise have not been realised. So through the Waste Management Resource Recovery Strategy, one of the key strategic priorities is initiatives under a circular economy. So supply chains provide the opportunity to understand where those wastes are occurring from beginning of life through to end of life and reuse. So research and projects that Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre has been undertaking, in which I am a steering committee, steering committee member on a few of those, has really provided valuable cross national insights, experience and learnings that can be shared to improve outcomes across the nation. Certainly through our work, working in collaboration across industry, government and through research and academic institutions is the only way to identify the most innovative and best solutions to address real practical solution, uh, issues and realistic solutions to those issues. So Queensland Government is very supportive of working through in investing in innovation and collaborating with industry and academia to realise these opportunities. How we incorporate sustainability ideas through our procurement and our supply chains is fundamental to driving change and making this happen. It's really inspiring to see some of the partner companies taking these ideas on board as we take this to scale through industry, government and academia.